It looks like it's ready to blow. I'm out of here. So I've had these water balloons for about three or four weeks now. I bought them with the intention to make this project that I've been thinking of doing. Now most of you guys probably saw Nick's video that he released this week where he cast these balloons inside epoxy resin and turned a cool bowl. And since then I've been inundated with messages of people asking me to fill a water balloon with water and put it inside of resin. Now as we know the resin I use can heat up and we're hoping that the balloon will burst and maybe seal the water inside. Now the only extra thing I think I may need is some fishing line. I'm going to tie that to the top of the balloon so that way we can hopefully suspend it halfway in the resin. And as always we'll have trusty pot cams so we can see exactly what's going on. So my first step will be filling these balloons with water. Now they gave me this little plastic attachment but I'm not too sure how well that's going to work. The only tap that this fits on is my bathroom one, and it's not even a great fit. I guess we'll just see what happens. Oh my god, that's terrible. So we now have our water balloons awkwardly filled and tied. So now the next thing to do is get our resin ready. So while I was getting the resin ready, I had a flashback to when I was a kid and we used to put water balloons in water and they'd always float to the top. Now that's not going to work well for this experiment because we need them to sit about halfway. So I thought back to that episode where we injected water into resin and how we added the salt into the water to make it sit halfway and I thought we could use the same method with these balloons. This was one of the first balloons we filled up and as you can see here, it just wants to float on top. And here's an example of one that I put too much salt in. And after a lot of trial and error, I finally got one to work. Now I know the density of the resin will be slightly different to this water, but hopefully it still works just as well. To give this experiment every chance of working, I'll be using ArtCast. Now generally art cast should only be poured in 20 to 40 millimeter layers, but in this case we're going to do something like 4 inches, or 100 mils. Now the reason I'm going for an extremely deep pour, which is way above the recommended specs, is to get the heat generation, because we need that heat generation to hopefully pop the plastic and then release the water. Okay guys, it's prediction time. What do you think's gonna happen? Is it gonna burst? Is it not gonna burst? Is it gonna sink? Is it gonna float? Is this even gonna work? Who knows? Whatever happens though, it's gonna be interesting to watch. Okay, time for the balloon. Let's see what happens. Might need a bit of persuasion. Well, there you go. It sinks in the water, but not in the resin. Now I need to find that one that was too heavy. Wow, that's starting to get warm too. Let's try that again. Well guys, that was the most dense balloon I had. Now, I don't think I've got enough time to fill another one up. So it looks like we're gonna to have to forego the pressure pot and do it old school like I did with the ice cube in resin. So I've got myself some long sticks. We'll wait for this resin to heat up a little bit and we'll just start pushing it in and hopefully we can get it to stay in the center. So now that we're doing this experiment outside of the pressure pot, I've got my respirator on because I don't wanna smell any of these fumes. And if something happens with the water and we get a little explosion or a little bit of popping, I don't want any hot resin on my face, so I've got a bit of protection. So now I'm just going to wait for it to heat up, and then we'll start pushing this balloon down. Okay, we're starting to get our steam, so we've got to be really close now.
There we go. So we can get it a bit to the middle. Well, we managed to keep it in the middle. Let's see if this heat now pops the balloon. Look at the top here. We're starting to release some bubbles. So it doesn't look like we're going to get a balloon pop. It's starting to cool down now. Now there is one thing I would like to do before it fully cools down and goes hard is get some clear resin, pour it in, put it in the vac chamber and try and fill in these two bits where the sticks were. I don't think this experiment's over. Can you see on top of the balloon there? It's like we've got some sort of bubble layer forming. Do you guys see that? Well, we got something going on in there. I think I might stand back a bit. Check out what we got going on now. I think the balloon's burst and all the water has escaped and it's all in the bottom here and it's pushed the bottom of the container out. Check out the bottom of this container. It looks like it's ready to blow. I'm out of here. So the blanks now cool down and as you can see all that water has been drawn back into the void. So I kind of feel like I let you guys down a little bit. I know we're all excited to watch this happen inside the pressure pot but unfortunately we just couldn't make that happen. So I think what I might do to make it up to you guys is I'll take this out, empty the water out and we'll fill this void in with some resin which I know a lot of you guys will probably want to see anyway and then we'll take a closer look at it. It's like a drum. I think to make this void stand out, I'm going to add some blue pigment. You know, I was going to put this in the vacuum chamber, but after looking at it, I don't think we have to. I think we've already filled all the voids. So here we have our finished piece. It looks quite unique, don't you think? You can see here where the inner pore has started to shrink, and it's created an air bubble around it. Well guys, I think this turned out pretty cool. I mean, it did get a little dangerous there for a minute, but all in all, I think it turned out pretty good. I think there could be a few different possibilities for this method. Well guys, that's it for this week's bonus video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to hit that like button if you did. And also make sure you check out Nick's video where he used water balloons this week. I'll leave a link to his video in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. I've just noticed that the packet says that these are scented water balloons. Well, maybe if the scent's plastic.